Hello fellow fish nerds and happy Fry Friday to you. This week's video is an uh, an eclectic update video on a bunch of things going around going on around in my classroom fish tanks and my fish tanks at home. Uh, some dealing with fry, some not. Uh, one of the things that's pretty exciting is um, I got some new fish from my local fish club auction uh, Wednesday night. Pretty excited about that. They are some fish I had a few years ago, so be sure to stay tuned throughout the video to find out what fish those are. They are a new surprise mystery fish. I didn't plan on getting them until yesterday when I was at the local fish club auction. Pretty excited. Um, also, I will show you how uh, these fish behind me are doing with their babies, how good of parents they're being. Uh, I'll show you how my uh, new fry tank setup is doing and the fry survival rate, if it's increased, decreased, or stay the same, how that experiment's going. Um, and also, let's see here, some, oh, some fish that I will be, uh, well, I will no longer be owning uh, a few hours after this video comes out. Some I will be taking up to the local fish store and working out a deal with them and see what what they think. I talked to them last night at the local fish club meeting and they said, yeah, sure, bring them by. So I'll bring them by. Uh, and then some fish I'll be bringing to V-Boy, uh, who is the featured channel in my uh, intro song. Uh, post a link to his channel right here. Um, he is the uh, featured channel that, oh, that lighting just got bad. He is the featured channel in my uh, intro theme song if you think you can do better or you want to do your own version or you want to plug for your channel or a plug for your band or your band's itunes then just email it to me at mr science geek channel at gmail.com send me the video um and uh, i'll put the audio on there even the video if it's if you want it to be on there that's fine too and uh yeah free advertising for your channel your band or whatever just uh email it to me and uh i think that's about it Fish I'm getting rid of, new fish I got, lots of changes. I did a lot of musical tanks in the words of Mr. B. Um, and also I did a lot of getting the fish tanks ready for spring break, which is next week, uh, which I will be posting that video of how I prepared my classroom tanks for spring break. Uh, that video will be coming out next, I don't know, next Wednesday or Friday, I haven't decided you yet so be sure to turn on notifications so you'll be notified when that video comes out you'll just click that bell down below be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so check out my links below uh, in the video to my social media my local fish store uh, my Amazon affiliate links greatly appreciate doesn't cost you anything extra my t-shirts uh, from my channel those are great and uh, I guess that's about it but yeah check them out below and um, stay tuned and stay fishy, people. Here we go. It's Mr. Science Geek. I hope my tanks don't leak. If it's information that you seek, then at my videos, take a peek. Be sure to tune in each week. My singing, my jokes really reek. All right, so these fish, the panda guppies, they are some of the fish that are going away a few, a few hours after this video comes out. I am giving some to a former student's parent. Uh, this same parent uh, gave me the blonde guppy, so I figure it's a, it's a trade about, you know, a few months later. So I, I told him I was going to give him some panda guppies once they were able to be uh, differentiated between the genders so it finally happened because I think it's because of the rise in temperature also I'll be giving some to a fellow local hobbyist a V boy as I mentioned before he's the person in the my intro theme song so hope he enjoys them I'll be giving him a trio probably hope they both enjoy them I do enjoy them this pair right here this pair has got to go uh, here's the female, uh, and then down below you will see the, oh, actually, top right you'll see the male. They, um, aren't breeding for me. 
They are flirting with each other a lot, they're teasing a lot, but they are not breeding. I have lots of other Fisto orange flash pairs that are breeding, these are not. So these are going to the local fish store, and I'll see what kind of deal we can work out. This pair is not going anywhere. They are great parents, they breed. I do have to kind of coax them a little bit into breeding by doing a large water change, but still, they're breeding, they're doing the purpose. They're doing a great job being parents. Uh, this mother here is protecting her young. She's taking them around the tank on little field trips, showing them new places to find food. In this case, I just gave them some micro worms. The male is doing a pretty good job of trying to protect his female and the fry from possible threats, including me whenever I walk by. Um, here you see a close up of some of their activity. I think I counted about 20. So my experiment to see how good of parents they are is, uh, I'd say it's probably close to 90% survival rate so far. So good job, they still have a home. Continuing on with the experiments with the fry raisin of the Fitz Ramakagatori's Orange Flash, we have my 10 gallon fry enclosure, which you see here some micro worms, I've just fed them. Um, I'm pretty sure they are very still because I just turned the light back on to try to feed them and they were probably sleeping. Uh, towards the end of this little clip they will start moving around a little bit more, but um, not super high survival rate, but better than what I had before. So hey, it's moving in the right direction. It's progress in the right direction. So I'm happy with that. Keep on doing this. I'll do water changes, I'll feed them, I'll try to speed up their growth that way and hopefully improve their health and put some more fry as more fry are born into this tank. And we see here my third or fourth attempt at trying to raise and keep assassin snails. What you see for the most part are ram's horn snails, yes, and then some blonde guppy fry swimming around. Uh, the ram's horn snails are eating green beans, and eventually the assassin snails will be eating the ram's horn snails. So far, I'm doing better than I have in the past with ram's horn snails, thanks to the advice from Milan at my local fish store, Clicking Fish, link to their store down below. He said I need to have sand so they can have a place to bury themselves and hide, and they eat ram's horn snails. They only eat pond snails as much, but they love ram's horn snails. So, I'm helping them, and they're helping me. I'm giving them some ram's horn snails, and I'm giving them the ram's horn snails that I don't really like, because they're the brown ones. I'm trying to select with the breed for the blue and the pink, just for the fun of it. And hey, assassin snails, pretty cool to talk about. I also added some uh, ground up egg shells, as you see, to increase the hardness of the water, increase the calcium, the guppies like that too. Uh, that's pretty good timing. There yeah, they show up. There's the male right there. But anyways, uh, increased hardness should help out the um, the assassin snails as well. Uh, we have my surprise mystery fish that I got from my local fish club meeting on Wednesday night. Um, I saw them on the auction page. I was like, I gotta get those. Um, they are the Zenotoka Doa Rio. Uh, they're or also known as the uh, San Marcos Red Hilt Goodie. Um, I am super excited to get these uh, because they are an extinct in the wild species from the San Marcos region of Mexico. It'd be an awesome lesson to be able to teach my students about conservation and how, uh, just in such a small tank into a small corner of my classroom, I can help an extinct in the wild species and help with conservation worldwide in my own classroom. I mean, super cool. Uh, I kept these about five or six years ago, back when they were called Zentoica uh, Einsteini, but they've since had a scientific name change. So, be sure that you turn on the notifications so that you can stay updated with my breeding progress of these uh, fish and my other fish as well. Hope you enjoyed this, found it entertaining and informative. 
stay tuned and stay fishy, people. <laughs>